McConnell surrenders, Swamp King retracts anti-war statements, let the people decide, millions stunned. Mitch McConnell has proven himself to be Roy Moore's bitterest enemy. The Senate Majority Leader has led the political establishment's charge against the GOP Senate hopeful, calling on him to step down, threatening a post-election vote to remove him, pushing for a right-in candidate against him, and possibly even collaborating with the liberal media and accusers to frame Moore for sexual misconduct. But Obama's bitch McConnell on Sunday took a very different direction. Three weeks after siding with the women accusing him of sexual harassment and rape, and calling on Moore to step aside from the race, now he's seemingly backing down from his attacks. I'm going to let the people of Alabama make the call, McConnell said on ABC's This Week, according to a report from AOL.com. It's a shocking reversal of his previous stance against the GOP candidate. Low morale could be just one of many reasons why one of the swamp establishment's most powerful leaders is now echoing the decision of Trump's White House and Moore's allies. Pressed by further questions from host George Stephanopoulos on whether he's going to take action if Moore were to be elected, McConnell dropped the burden onto the Ethics Committee, saying they would consider allegations in that situation. But he sure doesn't sound too confident about it. Just take a close look at his face in the video, Mitch doesn't look like he's slept in days, nodding off and blinking, and he appears to have grown a third rubbery chin. This election's been going on a long time, he croaks. There's been a lot of discussion about. They're going to make the decision a week from Tuesday. He's clearly at his wit's end. These statements are showing a complete 180 turn from his previous tone of threatening challenges in the race. When the accusations first arose in November, he responded almost instantly, I think, Moore, should step aside. Five women so far have come out with accusations of abuse against the Republican candidate than happened in his 30s, and the breaking report came from the Washington Post. The only accuser whose claims against Moore are actually a legal matter, and not just distasteful, is Beverly Nelson who claims to have been raped and whose testimony has been completely debunked. But the instant the story against Moore flew off the presses, McConnell and the entire GOP Senate was prepared to condemn him, before a trial or any evidence conclusively proved the allegations. I believe the women, yes, he said on November 13 to the media. Moore supporters would like to hope that frog face here has finally taken his seat, but we know better than to drop our guard. McConnell will never be an ally to conservatives, he's the only Republican official in office disliked by more than half of his own party. There's no doubt he will plot against Moore's victory until he's booted out of office. Like a slimy amphibian crawling into the mud, McConnell is trying to camouflage himself as a conservative now that siding against Roy Moore is no longer the strategic move to make. He can change his colors, but within he'll always be a cold-blooded bottom feeder. feeder.